world's appreciation for cocoa is centuries old. The ancient Maya were drinking hot chocolate in Central America as far back as 400 BC. The region's hot, humid conditions like those of South America, Western Africa and Southeast Asia are perfect for growing cocoa plants. Pods are harvested manually twice a year. Once ripe, they're picked from trees and opened using a wooden club or machete to extract the 20 to 40 wet cocoa beans inside. Still covered in pulp, the beans are piled up, covered and left to ferment naturally. The length of this process, critical to developing flavour, depends on the type of bean. The next step is the all-important drying process, which takes between one and two weeks. Beans are usually laid out in the sunshine until their moisture content is reduced from 60 to about 7.5%. They're then packed into sacks, stored and later shipped to factories where manufacturers clean and roast them. The fragments of beans are ground in mills until they're reduced to a thick chocolatey liquid which solidifies on cooling. This is the basic ingredient for all chocolate and cocoa products. From bean to bar, the chocolate's delivered to our supermarket shelves, then comes the best bit the taste test.